What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number three and today we are returning with a big episode because today we are going to start the championship season off with the season opener at home to Norwich at the Stub Hub Centre. Really excited for the first game of the campaign and i got to say in this new look championship division I genuinely don't know who's got the best chance of winning this and getting promoted. I've got no idea. I mean, I mean, this league is going to be so bizarre. Anyone could finish anywhere this season. It's going to be absolutely crazy. But our first games against Norwich, you'll see that today. Plus, hopefully, some new signings as well. And I want to start today's episode off by saying thank you for all the transfer suggestions in the first two episodes. You guys are like my scouts right now. You're, you're giving me so many suggestions in the comment section down below. You keep on giving me the suggestions. I'll keep on putting them on the short list. And loads of you guys have been giving me great suggestions in the first two episodes. And so many of you you when we pick up Christian Pulisic straight away I don't think we can do it though I don't think we can sign Pulisic in the first season I just don't think it's gonna happen we've not got the cash in the budget right now I think he's probably a season two signing but you never know right you never know but to begin with today's episode we're gonna try and make one signing quickly and that's gonna be Weston McKenney so many of you guys have been saying you had him in your Millwall football manager say he was an absolute boss through the middle of the park and he looks absolutely fantastic in FIFA as well he's only 19 years old but he's got some incredible stats three star three star six foot one medium medium work rates already 82 strength 78 stamina 82 aggression I really like that as well and uh, technically as well some really good stats to begin with such as 72 ball control 71 dribbling 75 short pass I like the defensive stats as well 71 marking 72 stand tackle as well so the first sign I'm going to go after is Weston McKenney let's bring into LA Galaxy come on Weston so we just tried offering a swap deal for Schalke. They weren't having any of it. So now I'll go on the valuation bid and see what they say. And they're saying no to 4.7 million. However, they're only asking for an extra 150 grand plus a sell-on clause of 13%. But that sell-on clause, of course, is irrelevant because we've got no plans to sell one of America's brightest young talents in the entire series. So that could be a 50% sell-on clause and I'll still accept it. An extra 150 grand, that's, that's nothing. That's an absolute bargain. So contract negotiations are going relatively smoothly to begin with. Four-year deal, crucial squad role, no release clause. And now we'll offer him what he's on right now, which is 8.7 grand a week, plus 100 grand sign-on bonus, as we're doing for all of our uh, young signings right now. And hopefully, Weston will swap the Veltins Arena for the StubHub Center. And in fact, he wants to take a pay cut, but get a bonus of 270 grand once he scores 20 goals. I don't predict he'll score that many goals throughout the entire series, to be honest, but we never like those bonuses there. We always try and remove them as soon as the agent offers them so 7.9 grand a week 100 grand sign-on bonus and he says no nope, actually we'll go back to your original offer 8.7 grand a week and that's totally fine with me no wage increase just 100 grand sign-on bonus and for Weston McKenney a four-year deal for 4.85 million an absolute bargain an absolute steal Weston coming back to America joining LA Galaxy perfect way to start today's episode get it I know you guys have been having a bit of banter with me in the first two episodes. You know I love my ball playing centre backs, and I don't see any reason why Weston McKenney couldn't slide into our back three as well. He's got the stats to play there. He's got the strength. He's got the jumping stat. He's got 82 aggression. And again, defensively, he's got the stats to play as part of a back three. And at six foot one, he's not small either. So we've got Durkin and McKenney as part of a back three, both midfielders by trade, dropping back to play deeper though in the centre back role. I think McKenney can play there. I really, really do. He shows great potential. He's certainly got potential for the future. And again, as a ball playing centre back, I know it's not his preferred position, but I think in the first season, he can definitely do that role. So, Weston McKenney in, perfect way to start today's episode off. £4.85 million, pounds for one of America's brightest prospects. Absolute steal. Now, I know absolutely tons of you guys have been saying in the comments you need to sign Matt Miazga and Cameron Carter Vickers to sort out your defensive problems with LA Galaxy. Unfortunately, as great as those suggestions are, we can't sign them in the first season because Miazga right now playing for Chelsea is out on loan at Nantes in France and Carter Vickers is on loan at Swansea right now at Liberty Stadium. Great suggestions, they're on the shortlist and they're certainly future targets but sadly can't pick them up in the first season. However, to sort out our goalkeeping problem, Zach Steffen is the number one target for the new number one for LA Galaxy and for the country as well. He's valued at £7 million, 75 rated, just 23 years old and he's already got 82 for reflexes. I'm sorry, 83! Even better for reflexes. Absolutely fantastic. And at six foot three as well, I'd love to have this guy as our first choice goalkeeper for the first few years of LA Galaxy at least. So Zach Steffen, I want to bring him in. It'll cost a chunk of our budget, but we need to be defensively secure this season. So Zach, let's bring him in. Now, also got three goalkeepers right here already. Bingham, Silvest, and also Vom Stieg as well. And uh, I'd love to swap one of these goalkeepers out because we don't need four goalkeepers here at LA Galaxy. So we'll offer them Bingham to begin with and see what they say. And Columbus Crew do say they want David Bingham. However, they also want 11.6 million as well. That's a lot of money. 
That is going to take up the majority of our transfer budget. I was hoping that Binger would soften the transfer fee there. I think he's inflated it a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll ask Columbus Crew to duck that deal down. And what we'll do is we'll offer them £9 million pounds plus Bingham, who again at 67 overall, it is not a bad goalkeeper in the overall, and uh, could do a decent job for Columbus Crew. But £9 million pounds plus Bingham, I'd, I'd definitely take that deal if they accept it. And they're saying no, they want 11.7. That's more than they just asked for. They're just toying with us now. They're absolutely toying with us. Okay, £10 million pounds plus Bingham. What would you say to that? Go on. Uh, what? What is going up? It's going up £11.8 million. Pounds. What? You, you keep on putting the price up. You, that's not how negotiating works. Right, that's it. £11 million pounds plus Dave Bingham. And if they say no to that deal, forget it. I'm not interested. Come on, say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Okay. There we go. That's a better offer. We can agree on that. I can't believe they were going up in the transfer negotiations. You're supposed to go down. Well, I was hoping that the contract negotiations would be a little bit smoother than the transfer negotiations. Not exactly. Uh, he only wants a three-year deal. That's not a lot. That's not a long time. And uh, on 6.8 grand a week, I'm hoping he won't ask for much more money. But he's asking for 13 grand a week plus a 490 grand bonus for 20 clean sheets. Of course, we'll take out that bonus right there. We're okay with a sign on bonus being 135 grand. We've got to remember, to be fair, this is one of America's brightest prospects, especially between the sticks. So I guess he's got to be worth the money, right? 13 grand a week, three-year deal. And and no, he wants a bit extra now because he did a bonus out. 15.5 grand a week. Do you know what? This is going to cost a lot of money to bring St uh, Zach Stefan in. But I really like the look of him. And I definitely think he's going to be our number one for club and country for quite some time. So, man, that was an ordeal. <laughs> a bizarre transfer negotiation. Quite a lot of money spent. But Zach is in and I'm excited. I hope he's worth it. Since Zach is 23 years old, we can't check his potential. Uh, you can only check the potentials of players that are 16 to 22, anything older than that. And uh, the status then just shows when they join the club. But we know for sure he'll have at least low age potential. At least I'm certainly hoping so. Because at 75 overall, 23 years old, he's got a long way to go in his career. Goalkeepers can play until they're 40s. So Zach's got a long way to go. And, and I'm sure he'll be proved to, worth, it'll prove to be worth the money in the future. It's a lot of money to begin with. But again, this is an investment. This is a young LA guy Galaxy team. This is an investment for the future. £11 million now is a lot of money, but in the future, I'm sure it'll prove to be a bargain. Unfortunately, due to that transfer there, our budget is now depleted completely. We're down to £5.5 million or around that with wage budget alteration. I, I think we'll leave the signings for there. We we've made a good one there in Stefan. We made a great bargain in McKenney as well. We'll leave the signings there for now and uh, we'll try and make some sales, get some foreign players out of the club and then heading to the Norwich game in a season opener as well. And there we go in the top left. We see that Chani has just been sold and he is on his way to Stoke City. So the second player we sold to Stoke City now as he will join Let Get there at a bet 365. And also a bid here for Alison Drini. And this is what we want to see. Uh, Independiente I want to sign Romain Alison Drini. And uh, for £9 million, pounds, I'll take that because right now that is his valuation. He's 29 years old. We can't use him anyway. We could possibly get a little bit more money, but I don't want to rock the boat. I want to get this guy gone and also want to get up that, uh, that salary out of the club as well, which will give us a bit money too so Alison Drini get gone some oh and uh, another bid for Alison Drini nine million pounds so you can go either way I don't mind well unfortunately talks are broken down there with Alison Drini and Independiente so you've got to hope that he ends up going to Cologne so we still get a nine million pound deal as LA Galaxy say well done for hitting our brand exposure objective just, just a question has anyone ever failed this objective though has anyone ever failed this one? The shirt sales objective. Has anyone ever failed to hit that objective? I swear you automatically hit it every single season, regardless if you make any new signings or not. But uh, still good to get in the good books of the board. And uh, also a transfer for Husadic here. And uh, we'll also try and sell him as well for 270 grand. And uh, the Bosnian can go. And it's a loan offer for Ariolano. We got enough centre-backs here though. So I'm not against loaning him out. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep him for now. Come on, Alison Drini, accept that deal with Cologne. Yes, get in. Fist pump in my living room. Alison Drini is gone. And now, as we hit the first of the month too, we also have something very exciting as well because we have our first ever scouting update from Davis for our American talents for the academy. So fingers crossed in the first batch, he's got some good youth players. Let's see who he starts off with. Bruce Wolf, the Wolf. 67 to 91 potential, 38, 52 overall. Keep scouting for to, uh, to begin with. And uh, Joseph James can definitely go. Uh, Bliska could be pretty decent and uh, should we put him in the academy straight away uh, well Jay Sullivan not too good we'll, we'll put him in the academy just because I want to see how good he is and uh, let's find out his overall to begin with and see if he's any good and good enough to go into the first team straight away where is the youth players hold on Brian Bliska, 52 overall 73-94 potential 17 years old uh, might have jumped to come with that one 
And there is another sale. Husadic has indeed gone to FC Sion. Uh, so good to get another foreign play out of the club. And we have a bit here for Lassiter as uh, Scunthorpe United. The Irons want to take him. And I'm okay with that because he's a Costa Rican player. And of course can't play for the club. And also another loan bid for Arellano. Uh, Paris FC. How about that? One of our former club and country says want to take him. Do you know what? I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that. He's going to go to Paris FC. And uh, yeah, he can link up with Thierry Ambrose and the boys there at Paris FC. He can go. That's great. Oh, no, he's not going to go. He's uh, he's rejected the loan deal, and uh, Arellano is going to stay. Uh, why am I surprised? Paris FC, they're a club and country style team. They, they like the French players, not the Americans. And here we go. We're about to jump into the first game of the championship season as we take on Norwich here at the StubHub Centre. And I've got literally no idea what to expect from this, our first campaign with LA Galaxy. This is a bizarre division. I've got no idea who's got the best chance of topping it, getting promoted, getting relegated. I've got no idea. Anyone can finish anywhere. That's what's going to make this season absolutely bizarre. And it starts here on match day one. It's LA Galaxy. It's the StubHub Centre. It's Norwich City at home. Let's get off to a winning start. Come on, USA. Come on, LA Galaxy. I definitely fancy our chance of scoring quite a few goals this LA Galaxy team, despite the fact we're playing Kitchen uh, as I can. Uh, I really do trust Weyer and Jameson to bang in the goals. Weyer played well in the preseason final despite scoring, and Jameson, of course, got our only goal. So I think goals will be fine. Again, it's, it's the defence that I'm most concerned about this year, and uh, hopefully we'll be a lot tighter than we were in that preseason final. So first chance, good full rush and kickoff. Roll down the captain on the ball, rolling it through, and... Oh, Jameson! What was that? The goal he scored in the preseason final was brilliant. A great solo run, but that was god awful. Miles wide the post and still 0 0. But as Pontius slides down left hand side towards Weyer, nice little turn, whips it in, kitchen over the bar, brilliant start. Tell you what, it's a shame that Zlatan has no American heritage because I would love to have this guy in my team right now. He's Adams though, on the ball, rolling it through. Weyer, Jameson. Oh, and that's the goal we needed. Kitchen. Kitchen with the finish. And 10 minutes in the Galaxy. Draw first blood in the season opener. 1 0 to the boys. Not a new signing, but a defensive midfielder playing Cam. What a finish. Oh, the fans are loving it already. Wonderful move there. Jameson holds it up well. Knows he can't strike him himself. So rolls through the kitchen and bang into the bottom corner. No chance for Tim Krull. And the Dutchman beaten by a fine strike by our number two. 1 0 to the Galaxy. What a start. I'd say in this first half an hour, our new back three look very comfortable indeed. Durkin, McKenney, and Trusty looking very, very comfortable out there. And right on cue, Norwich hit the post, and we just about scramble it away. One late chance for Norwich just for the break here. Buendi is sent down the right side. McKenney steps out of position to shut him down. And Weston. Oh, yes, Weston McKenney. Our back three has been safe as houses in this first half. Loving it. Well, that will do it for the first half. 1 0. Galaxy leading with 45 minutes away from a win on the first game of the championship season. Come on, boys. Norwich looking for a route back into the game here. Five minutes after the restart. Nelson Oliveira receives the ball, finds his man. Ball inside. Chuck comes in, and there is the equalising goal. We defended really well in the first staff an ultimate difficulty it only takes one chance for the AI to get a goal and if they get that chance they'll more often not take it 1-1 one, one. We're looking at a different team in this second half. Can't create any chance at all. There's, there's no build-up play. There's no chemistry. We're all over the place. And Norwich looking for that second goal to get in front of the first time. And you put your money on them getting it. Here they come again. Turn ball through the legs. Lovely ball through. Oh, Stefan. What a save, keeper. All right, let's make a change here. Pontius off. Akinola on. I'm going to swap him and Weyer around. Because Weyer can play down left-hand side. And we'll have Akinola coming on with the pace as the impact sub to hopefully break clear in the final 18 minutes and run at tired legs. Corner for Norwich. Buendia to take it. Whips it in to the centre. Headed away. Grant Hanley. Oh, there was a dummy inside the area by Trusty there. And a long ball to Jameson. Brilliant. Oh, please. Oh, what a save by Tim Krull. Way Over the bar. And wide the post. Oh, that was the chance. Wait for the finals to come any second now, and there it is. Final score at the StubHub Centre. LA Galaxy 1, Norwich City 1. A draw to start the campaign off. The fans aren't happy, but I'll tell you what, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's our first game of 46, and a draw is not a bad result. A lot of positives there. Some good, impressive debuts too. I'll take the point. I thought it was a balanced game as well. I think the point was probably the right result there.
And I'll give Man of Match to Durkin as well. Uh, a ball playing centre back, three tackles, misplaced a lot of passes. But uh, for the most part, I thought defended quite well. And as part of our back three, it's going to be a tough season for these boys in the back line. But I thought he started off strong. Durkin, Man of Match. And I think we'll end the episode there, guys. So thank you very much for watching episode number three. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode of Club and Country, then please do drop a like, as likes are, of course. Very much appreciated. And the Redout channel as well. Lots of positives to start the season off, if not a victory some really impressive debuts and our young team look very good when going forward and I'm excited for the first season of the championship anything can happen this year but it should be a great adventure so thanks for watching guys have an awesome day much love to you all and I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon